Well, an ominous day in court, not just for Baba Ramdev, but also for Patanjali Ayurved. He was made to appear in person. He showed up here at the apex court in person to answer some tough questions as he is facing contempt proceedings. So, why is he facing contempt proceedings? Why is he appearing in person before the top court? And what is the way forward? We'll try to answer some of these questions. Firstly, as to why he's facing contempt. Let's bear in mind that the case here before the Apex Court goes back a couple of years. The Indian Medical Association from the COVID days had brought to the court's attention how Patanjali Ayurved was advertising its products, claiming to be a cure for various diseases, all the way from COVID to BP. Not just that, uh, the IMA application, the Indian Medical Association application, had flagged how the trust of the public in uh, allopathic medicine was being undermined by these ads because these ads were making a mockery of allopathic medicine. That is something that the Apex Court had taken into cognizance in November of last year, had directed for these ads to be taken down and for these ads to no longer be published. That, however, had absolutely no impact on Patanjali Ayurved and its advertising campaign. The advertisements continued and that is what led to the contempt proceedings. Not just that, after the initial contempt notice had been issued, Baba Ramdev and Patanjali Ayurved simply did not file an apology and simply did not make their submission, their affidavit, which resulted in the second count of contempt. And therefore, an application had been moved and, they, and the Supreme Court had invited, had directed rather, uh, for Baba Ramdev as well as Patanjali Ayurved to be, be appearing in person before the top court. Now, the proceedings were scheduled at 10.30 today. Baba Ramdev showed up at around 10 o'clock. What's interesting, however, is that the Supreme Court specifically chose to not address Baba Ramdev directly, uh, rather speak uh, to him through his counsels. And the Supreme Court had some tough words to share. The Supreme Court was furious and made no bones about expressing its frustration. The Supreme Court said that Baba Ramdev has submitted a half a page apology. This apology was submitted last uh, night. The Supreme Court took exception to the fact that it wasn't filed earlier and then also said that this is a half a page apology which barely undoes uh, the damage that Baba Ramdev has done to the majesty of the law. Uh, he, in fact, the Supreme Court observing that it's taking this apology with a sack full of salt, saying that it is not impressed with this apology, it is not keen to accept this apology, it is not happy with this apology. Not just that, the Supreme Court clearly observed that Baba Ramdev was aware of the Supreme Court directions. He hosted a press conference immediately after the Supreme Court directions and therefore was fully aware and was fully aware of the consequences that may follow if these directions are not followed. Also, the Supreme Court was not happy about the fact that Baba Ramdev in his affidavit as well as Patanjali Ayurved had sought to blame the media department. The Supreme Court observed that the media department could not have been operated independently. Uh, the Supreme Court also observed uh, that the fact, the stature that he occupies in society places him on a higher benchmark, uh, that he cannot be equated with a common man. He has a higher level of responsibility uh, towards adhering to the courts. And also said that the Supreme Court is not happy with the fact that the Supreme Court's orders are not being followed uh, in body and spirit. Now, on the back of that, we understand that the Supreme Court has given one final chance to Baba Ramdev to come back with an explanation. Next week, the Supreme Court will be hearing this case once again. But what's equally important is that the Supreme Court has not been shy of directing Baba Ramdev to be in person once again for a second time before the top court. That's, of course, as far as Baba Ramdev is concerned. The Supreme Court was also very, very critical of the central government. The Supreme Court asked questions as to why the central government has been shy of taking action. The Supreme Court pointed out that the central government's own committee had flagged that Baba Ramdev's products, the Patanjali Ayurved products, were not backed by evidence, were at best a supplement to COVID treatment. Yet, no action has been taken. The Supreme Court frowned on how the central government had passed on the buck uh, to the state government. That is something uh, the Supreme Court said it is not happy with. And finally, the Supreme Court also flagged, flagged how very recently the Uttarakhand government has issued a warning uh, to Patanjali Ayurved. Here, the Supreme Court asked the question that the law as it stands, the Drugs Act, simply does not provide for a warning. So where did this warning come from? And the Supreme Court also remarked how this action by the Uttarakhand government only seems to have stemmed from recent observations by the Apex Court and that the state licensing bodies are not doing their job, are not discharging their duties. So some tough questions being posed, not just to the Baba Ramdev, but also to the central government. Next week is when the hearing will resume in this case and that's when we'll get more clarity on the way forward with respect to these contempt proceedings launched by the Apex Court.